welcome back. My name is KP and this is another workshop my life. Um, it's been an interesting week. Everything's very timely as it always is. Uh, today's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to the dads out there. And um, so the reason why I say things are timely is because clearly I'm in this self-improvement phase of my life. And um, one of the workshops that I'm in on, I think Wednesday, um, had a module for us to do that uh, basically made us take the attachment style quiz. And not to bury the lead, I classify as disorganized, which is something that I was moderately aware of. I just didn't have a, a title for it, but I've been doing work on that. And with clarity comes progress. So I'm just going to keep doing my work. Um, but uh, to put it all into context, the disorganized style usually comes from um, like the first 18 months of life where um, an infant basically is not getting its needs met. So from the caregivers, which for me were my parents, my mom and my dad, um, I either perceived one of them as scary or there was just like a, a feeling of fear or 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 one of them not being able to meet my needs and them being fearful, but I know it's it's what I said before. It's one of them being scary. Um, that's a long story, my dad. It was an interesting childhood. Not I was not the I didn't bear the brunt of the abuse, but there was abuse in the household. That's all I'm gonna say. So yeah, it's it's I was just flabbergasted to learn how just being in an environment um, as a kid can really like that young can really leave an effect, make its mark. So um, it's like, all right, as if I were not already going back and forth um, with how to treat my relationship with my dad um, and my issues with my dad aren't even from childhood, it's from who he is today. Um, he just, which is where, you know, growth and compassion come in. He kind of cowers, you know, he stays in his corner. He has told me he doesn't want to build a relationship. Um, he's just, there's fear there, right? Um, clearly he's just unable to unpack feelings, show feelings, emotions, um, build those kinds of connections. And I'm guessing it's out of fear of being rejected or um, having the past brought up. And what's really interesting is that so many of my girlfriends, so as we all know on social media, there's always some meme floating around about a narcissistic boyfriend or whatever. And you can generally tell that it's like, no girl, he's just a fuck boy. Like he was just an asshole, move on. Um, but so many of my girlfriends have like textbook character, like textbook narcissistic fathers. And it's really weird um, to like share stories back and forth. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm just deciding to omit the label um, and treat him as a person who has gone through a lot, who's been hurt, and um, <laughs> is just coping with life at this point. Um, so yeah, uh, even taking that a step further over these last few days after doing some more digging, just inside of myself, just digging and trying to um, do work outside of therapy because the thing with therapy is that it's great to have that, that, 
clinical help to um, help you work through things, but resentment will inevitably show up. And without like plant medicine, it's really hard to get over that hump. Um, so just with like spiritual help, I've been digging deeper and asking lots of questions like, like what if, what if, what if, like what if this person who I've been so disappointed in all of these years um, and who's like created distance between us, what if, what if, what if abandoning you, leaving you, uh, abandoning their family was like the biggest mistake that they made? And they know this and it's really hard for them to face. What if they don't have the tools to forgive themselves? What if seeing you, interacting with you brings all of that back? What if, you know, they're, they're afraid of how you see them, what you think of them? Um, just what if they had all of these expectations and goals and couldn't meet them in that stage of life? And what if everything just kind of crumbled all at the same time? And what if they don't want to go back to that place, you know? Um, I've already had lots of theories about like what got my dad to where he is, I I probably will never know. I've I have a relationship with his oldest sister, and she she doesn't have much for me either. She she doesn't understand what happened. No one really understands what happened. Um, but uh, I don't. I just don't think I'll ever get those answers. So can kind of just, instead of assuming the worst in a way that, you know, puts a burden on you, just what if you give that burden back to them, not hold on to resentment, um, because at the end of the day, chances are they've, you know, ruined, ruin. I don't want to say ruined their lives, but I, I mean, that's how I've, I, that's how I felt in the past. Like he's ruined his life. I'm not going to ruin mine hating him, but, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's not my burden to carry. And um, I don't know where these what if questions came from, but <laughs> they've been really useful in um, detaching myself from that because his actions, you know, had nothing to do with me or the family, really. You know, that's, that's his burden to bear and his work to do. Um, but yeah, this says, uh, I know Father's Day, I'm sure especially in certain, in certain communities, it is an interesting day, <laughs> a day of reflection for a lot of us. Um, and, uh, this is just a reminder that it's not your burden to bear, um, we all make mistakes. Um, and I guess the only thing you can learn is, you know, make amends sooner than later. Sometimes it feels like it would be so much easier to not have any contact with my dad because like, I'm just trying to figure out what kind of relationship dynamic 
or non-relationship dynamic. Like it's, it's, it's real easy to get uh, stuck in your head about this, but uh, all of this was just to say, can't let it change you, can't let it stop your flow. And uh, I'm finding the easiest way to get through it is just to stay true to myself, uh, not let that stifle my energy. It's weird, it's hard. Um, but it takes practice and yeah, just go easy on yourself. They didn't have the answers. So why should you have the answers? You know, parents been doing this for a long time. They're still liable to make mistakes. They're still figuring out as the kids were allowed to figure it out too. And remember, as someone else's parents someday or now or whenever it is, you're going to have the grace to figure it out as well. Um, just keep that awareness. And yeah, I am. This is a very active workshop, my life, a very ongoing workshop, my life. Um, but. Freeing. So, yeah, it's for everyone out here on Father's Day, conflicted, confused, mad, wanting to let it all go. If you want to let it go, that's probably the right way to go. I'm telling you, that's definitely the right way to go. So, uh, thank you for watching. My name is KP.